Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of The Gentleman's Den. Grab your favorite beverage, come on in, sit down for an hour of stimulating conversation about absolutely nothing. How y'all doing? My name is Sean. And to my left, as always, is Francis, a.k.a. Frankie. Hope everyone's feeling good today. And to my right, of course, always is Jeff, a.k.a. J-Dub. My name's Jeff. Young Jeffrey. <laughs> How's everybody doing? How's your fucking week? Living the dream, my man. Living the dream. Oh, Sometimes boy. it's like a nightmare and I can't wake up. Oh. Living the wet dream. <laughs> Let me fucking tell you about my week. All right. My lady, as I refer to her as, had a fucking uh, pleasure party. You guys know about these? <laughs> yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. Yeah. Pleasure parties. They get together. There's like a suitcase full of fucking dildos and lube. They all get together and they're like, oh, check out my fucking lube. <laughs> <laughs> And so all week, I've been getting nothing but text messages. Honey, look at this dildo. I'm like, yeah, it looks great. That looks just less fucking time too for you good. to do work. It looks too good. I don't even want to. <laughs> I don't even want to put that inside you. I want to put that on a coffee table. She showed I mean, this, how nice it is when they come over. This fucking shit's piece. got fucking chrome accents. <laughs> I mean, it's like I don't even know. It's got like deer skin. This thing is beautiful. I don't even want to put it inside her. I just I I want to put it on the coffee table, and everyone's like, "What's that?" I'm like, Psh, "My new it. coffee stirrer. It's two hundred dollars right there. That's what yeah, that yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a fucking dildo. Does it come with a remote control? But they get all they get all fucking crazy and weird after they come home from those fucking sex parties, and especially after your girlfriend hosts one. She's like, oh, you're on a sex party. Invite all the neighbors. It's going to be a great time. <laughs> nice. So basically, you're getting kicked out of the house that night. Yeah, I did. I did. Hey, well, you got a night away, though. I did get the night away, but I'm getting nothing but text messages saying, hey, what about this dildo? Because she wants your credit card to buy it. Yeah. Well, whatever. Hey. That's just, that's just less time. I mean, like you said, if you're, if and you're involved. And I'm like, I don't but... care. I don't care. I don't care. It's a good-looking dildo. <laughs> it's not going inside me. So whatever one you want she inside She might have me, some ideas. No. Nah. <laughs> Pick one. Pick one. I don't fucking care. That, that's the thing about it is, like, these fucking sex parties, these fucking girls go crazy about it. And the guys are just like, yeah, whatever. She's going to be paying sixty nine ninety nine for some rope that you could get for $10 at the want local it? store. Find it. Yo, but that rope smells like cinnamon. Right. Because <laughs> cinnamon makes everyone in the mood. Cinnamon and lavender mixed. Ooh, lavender. When you're done, I want you to say, what a lovely tea party. <laughs> I'll tap you on the hat when I'm ready to go. Movie reference. Movie reference. <laughs> um, you know, I'm feeling really good. I feel like we, we started the day early, getting lunch, having... Uh, Oh, Some day shit. drinking going on. Well, we better prepare. Oh, yeah. yeah shots. All right. We got to start it with a shot shots. here. Well, episode ev- three, boys. Episode three. Ooh. Everybody listening, raise your glass. Do one. Raise your glass. Social. Take a drink. Take a shot. Stay hydrated. Because that's what we do. Right take here. a drink for the small town infamous. All right. <sighs> These assholes are drinking rumple. Mix. Anyone who's on that fucking dildo level, let me know. <laughs> I mean, we had a like a heart to heart last night. Me and my lady. Deep conversation about a it was. fake dick. It was. A, no, were you it was listening? A, or were you just, uh-huh, uh-huh, It uh-huh. was a super deep conversation about, like, well, well, spice things up. We're going to get off for, like, seven years. And I was like, yeah, you know? But I'm not going to be down there, like, pumping and thrusting. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> I thought that's what those don't handcuffs get me wrong. I saw. No, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not, like, intimidated by a dildo. <laughs> but, like, dildos are weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay. You're getting fucked by a I robot. have a penis, right? It's like a, it's like a sweet fucking sports car. <laughs> okay? But a dildo is like a supercharger on a sports car. 
just takes no, no. it up a notch. No, and you're listen, like, you're not on that. Whoa, level. this fucking thing is fast as shit. And then, who wants to remove a turbo or a supercharger? From no, you're never going car? back. Nobody. You're not going back to just. So then it's like, no matter how shitty. She's like, oh my is. god, this feels amazing. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, my fucking boring cock is gonna feel <laughs> just neglected. Neglected. It's okay. It's, 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 it's just it, a weird. Have you it, guys? Your dick have you guys? The silver medal of the relationship. I mean, besides <laughs> like besides like birthday Ooh. parties and Ooh. fucking other kinds of Honorable bullshit. Mention. Have you ever? I mean, we use the drill though at that girl at your birthday party. But Dude, have you cr- have you guys ever used like a, a dildo in the bedroom? Oh, of on course. a partner? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's your cock talk saying to you? Like, bruh, I'm down here. He, like, he actually looked up at me and said, bruh. I can't compete. <laughs> I don't have a motor. I don't go. Dude, rum, 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 dude, rum, this fucking rum, thing. Rum. This the fucking thing's got sixteen speeds. <laughs> it's got. Like I said, uh, is it the five horse pull start? <laughs> that's what I'm Gas saying, powered. dude. And it's got like fucking uh, rotating fucking beads in it. It's got a fucking yeah, rabbit gas tickler. Power. Gas is going way and up. The, oh, and it's Bluetooth, Bluetooth compatible, so you can play your favorite songs while you do it. Right. It goes to the beat of the music, just feeling this song. So <laughs> I it's imagine crazy. that's not a it thing is, it should it, be. When you've been some, with someone for a long time, it's an uncomfortable but necessary conversation about how you guys want to like spice things up. But you're like, babe, I mean, my penis is down here like looking at me like, Bruh. Stand up for me, Bruh. please. When the fuck? Tag me. When in. is my time? Tag When's me. It's gonna be my in. time. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an uncomfortable conversation because I'm down for it. Don't get me wrong, but well, it's it's a good you've thing had the super you're tur- open. Okay, if you have a turbo on your car, you don't take the turbo off your car and drive it and be like, "Yeah, this is fucking way better." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like if you have a car and it's fucking amazing and you turbocharge it and you drive the car so and you're like, holy you fuck, know, this shit is a thousand times faster. You are and then you, facts right now, sir. Yeah, he's just digging himself. Nobody deeper, just takes deeper. nobody just takes the turbocharger off and is like Yeah, this yeah. fucking car is way better. Blowjob stock for you is going way down. She doesn't want to play with that toy anymore. Bro, that training's been closed for years. <laughs> oh, how dare you. First of all, <laughs> fucking. Hmm, let's talk about the glasses she was wearing tonight. Oh, God. That, oh, God. I feel like because we didn't get a nominee this week for Gentleman yeah, of the Week, it's got to go to week. job. Yeah, yeah, you guys need to email us. The Gentleman's Den Pod at gmail.com. <laughs> so uh, since no one else is emailed, I'm gonna name a name myself for the gentleman of the week. My girlfriend had on glasses, which didn't have any lenses, <laughs> and I was like, <sighs> trending. I love to come on those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, the fact that you do it so nonchalantly, like we're just sitting here having some drinks, hanging out, listening to some music, and hey, I want to come on those. <laughs> She knows, though, how I am, and that's what I love about our relationship. She's comfortable. I'm comfortable. Like, And that's the most important thing, that you guys could actually have those conversations and yeah, keep it Yeah, we just fuck and around, and that's what's the best part. You know what I'm saying? Like, You guys are fucking no, I don't know what he's saying. single I... and <laughs> hey, out I, of the fucking I, I'm, loop. I'm happy well, one day it. you're going to meet a girl, that and you're going to be like, babe, I want to come on those glasses. <laughs> And then you're going to realize there's no lenses in them. And her eyes are going to burn. Real quick. Her eyes are going to burn for three See, that weeks. That sounds like more of a love-hate kind of thing. But like, do you know what? You know what? Those eyes burning, that's true love. True love. <laughs> it's true love. This is what everyone in that's, the world wants to love. have with their significant other. That that love there. The eye burn? The eye burn. <laughs> that's the best description of love. It's like searing, burning pain in your eyeballs. Yeah, right. I think that's probably that for sure you what want marriage, every marriage day. is. And... <laughs> that you want every day for the rest of your it life. It is. You're just like, babe. That's when you just love, when you find out that you just well, love Well, we were the talking pain. about, we kind of talked about it last week, but we're talking about favors, you know? <laughs> it's my life. Well, let's talk about favors, you know? Favors are the best. 
Like, babe. Well, it's your way to <laughs> show anywhere your you appreciation. Go, anywhere you go, anything you do, you can turn it into a favor. Right. Oh, we're bowling. Oh, soccer bowling. First one oh. to get a strike. Yeah, first one to get a strike does a favor. I bet you can't clean this up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she never does. But... <laughs> That's a six, seven, <laughs> ten split. Here, here's a sock. <laughs> Clean yourself up. <laughs> oh, but if, if women oh, had shit. the money shot, that's one of the best things. If they had the money shot, they'd rule the world. Can you imagine just sitting there looking? Well, let's talk Ugh. about your exes for a minute. Let me go get you a towel. Oh God. <laughs> I mean, we could we couldn't have an entire podcast based on Frankie's exes. Uh, we would need longer than an hour. So let's set the scene. That could be a three-parter. <laughs> Frankie's <laughs> sitting on his couch. I never. I don't like when I never know where it's going. It's just you know. At home alone. Can't remember here, all this. Here, bullshit. hold on. Before we start here, we'll we'll do an intro to this one. Ladies, if you're looking for a man, child, <laughs> we got one for you. If you like rubbing cokes. Rubbing cokes. <laughs> <laughs> Then bags. <laughs> Don't rub coke on me. That's <laughs> if you like, like I said, we've been drinking all day. If, if you, you like, like rubbing you. cokes and giving backs, <laughs> Frankie is your man. Gray Bush has been going hard over there. Every fifteen minutes. No, but let's home. let's do a shot. Let's do a shot. I don't even think I've done this shot yet. Did you guys do it? Yeah, yeah. we did it. We did. What, where were you? See, How dare you? See, the, the rumble puts you on a different on. level. But anyway, let's talk about uh, your exes. Oh, yeah, that sounds like great. It sounds like a phenomenal <laughs> idea. So, Frankie's dating this girl. Which one are we starting with? Oh, we're going to start with the greatest of all time. Are we time. starting with power outage? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. So, Frankie is dating this girl, and the power goes out at his house. There's a bad storm. The power goes out at his house, and he tells her, Babe, <laughs> the power's out. Your car's not going to start. She's like, what? <laughs> yeah. The power's out. Your car's not going to start. She's like, I have to work in two hours. He's like, you better call your mom and figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, why can't you drive me? I'm like, my car won't start either. The no, no out. one's car is going to start. The power's out. Unless their car was already driving so she running. calls her fucking mom mom <laughs> mom <sighs> the power's out of bring us off <laughs> oh god i gotta work in two hours what am i gonna do she's like what yeah yeah the power's out at frankie's house there's a bad storm my car isn't gonna start and i have to work in two hours what am i gonna do what do you do <laughs> what why is your car not gonna start i i i don't know why that's so believable but i guess that was pretty convincing well she, or she was retarded <laughs> she also there's two options she also tried pushing play on the tv to get the dvd yeah out. yeah yeah you want to explain that yes <laughs> So we're sitting there getting ready to watch a movie, and I put it in. And you know, back in the day when DVD players, you had to, you know, let the, the, the I think first they still credits. Do. do they still have credits? I don't. I mean, I, I'm yeah, more of well, a they don't have guy. credits, but there's a they have a, a menu screen, screen where yeah. it's like right. play so it settings, it. bonus features. So like it did of the trailer, and then when the trailer was over, it went to the main menu of the movie. And um, I just got back in bed with her, and I'm like, oh my god, babe, will you get up and press play? She gets up and she goes over to the TV and she's like, I don't know how to do it. I'm like, you just got to press play. Just hit it on the screen. She walks up to the TV, starts tapping on the TV. It's not working. Why is it not working? I was fucking dying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Good time. I mean, we though. could talk about all the ridiculousness. There was a lot. We talked last Good week times. about going up to the Dells. So my ex-girlfriend, we go up to the Dells, and she has a, some kind of fucking Chrysler convertible. And she straight up <laughs> asked me, can you get tanned in a convertible? I was like, yeah. She's like, but you're moving. 
<laughs> and I was like, yeah, unless you're outrunning this fucking sun's rays. <laughs> you're moving faster you're than the speed of light. You're getting a goddamn fucking tan. <laughs> What kind of car do you have? A fucking DeLorean with a flux capacitor? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm running the sun's beams. I'm out running the sun. How fast can I get up here? Not oh. faster than the speed of light ever. Oh, I promise so, you that. So wait, 88 miles an hour isn't faster than the speed of light? No. <laughs> Go back to that. Another movie line. 88 today. fucking gigawatts, Sean. Another goddamn movie line. 1.1. Oh, 1.21 gigawatts you need to go. Oh, God, he's bragging that Rumpelman's is going to be <laughs> the death of Sean. Sean's just shaking his head right now. I don't want he's it He's shaking anymore. his head because I spilled Rumpelman's all over his soundboard. No, you didn't. You're yeah, just fucking. Like <laughs> See, now he's like, did you? It's just, <laughs> just <laughs> from last week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking ass. You haven't listened to last week. So Check well. it out. We'll, we'll, that, that'll make way more sense. Hey, I just wanted to say thanks to all you guys listening. This is uh, it's pretty cool for us. Yeah. I mean, I, I like that they could... It's like hanging out with your friends and when it's they can't so be here. It's so fucking cool. Frankie's wearing sunglasses. Again. <laughs> Again. It's definitely L- not bright in here. I L- feel comfortable behind them. I'm invisible like in Big Daddy. Literally, it's the computer screen and one light bulb. And you got sunglasses on. I just like to, you know, feel it. You know... We, we're eventually we'll you start videoing this so people can see the yeah like you're hanging out here with us so they can see the ridiculous this, let, let's be real though this all just started one day getting drunk saying yeah let's just fucking grab the mic little podcast and Sean's like I'll bring over <laughs> this shit and, and I was like alright cool and like I said it's it's a whole lot of fun yeah, actually, I, I've heard feedback that people actually enjoy it, and that's that's really cool. And that's all, you know, like I said, all we really want to do is just have fun with it and just be ourselves and, and just hang out. It's an excuse to hang out for the most part and get drunk, which is a normal day. Yeah, you know, you got to have goals in life, and our goals are pretty low, so. <laughs> when, you, when you're achieving all your goals, <laughs> you should set the bar a little higher. What's your goal this week? Uh, don't die. <laughs> Sweet. Live to the weekend to get drunk. I made it, I made it another week. <laughs> but I mean, that that is that is the goal. I think that that's the greatest goal. Let's <laughs> just make it into the next day. Oh, I woke up again. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank God. Oh God, he's pouring. All right, oh, let's boy. get these ready. So these guys are on Rumplemans. I'm sticking with my Jameson here. Yeah, well, you know, sometimes you gotta go minty over whiskey. Ew. Ill. Yeah, but see, you won't drink anything but Jameson, so it's a, uh, you know... I can't, it agrees I, with me, and I, I like how it I makes me ex- feel. I can't accept your... I can't accept that because you don't go and try other whiskeys. I have tried other whiskeys. I hate Jack. I try, Someone's like American no, 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 honey. Stop. I puke stop. so bad. No, Irish whiskey, son. You got fucking... Proper 12. Do. Proper, do, proper, proper 12. Proper 12. You got yeah, patterns. You got powers. Shivers. There is shivers. Bar. Sorry, I was having a real hard time getting that bottle open with the mic. There is millions of different whiskeys you can. Hey, try. do you want to talk about Conor McGregor? Did you understand what he just said? How did I shivers? No, no, shivers. Barge. Fucking Mr. Hey, Balloon Hands. Short. Hey, I got it. We, we, we can't steal anybody else's bit. It's not a bit. It's just a great fucking video on the internet. So no miss the walk em up walkway. Lead me to the building. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Trademark. Trademark. Trademark by some guy on acid in a closet. It, it's You're the great. truth. Google You're my it. idol. Closet. Closet acid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. If that's what it's called. But he is wasted, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's All of us are. Well, that's a good thing. Animals. Yeah, well, me and you had some gummies earlier that I'm I, feeling. Hey, my boss might listen to this, so I did not. Sean have had none. Harbor. He had Harbro's like a fucking I, I big not, teddy bear. I did not take. 20 milligram edibles before I started this party. No. He's like, holy fuck, are those Harbos? I'm going to eat like the He's like, they bag look, and shit my He literally, pants. like, I, my I hand s- was snatched away. And I'm, where did they? I will say something about those edibles. They tasted like mong water mixed with Dimetap. It did. It took a while to get it down. The edibles you didn't eat? No, no, those gummies that I did not eat. Right. They tasted like what? <sighs> Dimetap mixed with bong water. That is the truth. <sighs> But it makes me feel so good. Oh, Jeez, social, social, everybody, raise your one. glasses. Even if it's water, stay hydrated. 
to monster trucks and big titties. Oh, God. I love those things. Not Isn't, really monster That's truck. the most American cheers I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Monst- <laughs> Do you think in England, they're like, right? Oh, the tea and crumpets. Have a have a lazy gloss, the fucking... We're going to take a cheers to monster truck and big titties. Uh, do, you, do, you, uh, do you remember in the Dells when you were doing your accent think. of uh, Chip Ellis? Oh, that was Australian. Australian. I'm Chip Ellis made a debut in the Dells where we, we were drinking, we're partying about, all day. Do you think that happens, though? Oh, yeah. I mean, we yeah, used to do it all the time, they, do alter they egos. Say it to something else. We're going to have a cheers to fucking... You know, meat and potatoes. I don't know. No, who fucking knows? To... The Queen and no, fucking yeah, Big Ben. No, but yeah, we fucking would have stumbled by Chip Ellis. <laughs> Chip Ellis was a great alter ego. He was you a know, when you meet great. new people, you just. We started that because we used to go to this fucking bar <laughs> in fucking Twin Lakes. <laughs> and this guy's name was fucking Chip. And he's a fucking douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, all right, Chip. Chip Dundee. Because what gets more Australian than Dundee? Nothing. <laughs> Well, then we're big fans of fucking uh, Jason Ellis. Jason Jason. Ellis. So I was like, number one greatest, the number seven greatest skateboarder of all time. Dude is awesome. Just hilarious. Vert skater. So we're up in the Dells and we're like, yeah, we're going to fucking have a party. And I was like, yeah, I'm fucking invited. And it was fucking. We're fucking camping. I, I spilt it again. Jesus Christ, mate. All this over time, my shoe. Come on, dude. Not guy. on the dude's shoes. Not on your pumas. They're not. <laughs> now, first of all, I he spilt should be my... happy though. It went off the table, the not on the equipment. Fucking toe, bro. Anyway, let's I said fucking he was get drunk back to the this story, podcast, Sean. right? <laughs> wow. This podcast is falling off fast. <laughs> Jesus. So he we went to the Dells, and I told everyone that I was in the fucking. Skateboarding competition of from Australia. Well, well, set the scene. We're sitting there, and our buddy is talking to like six chicks. He's talking to six ladies. By He's the way, a good like, time. By the way, I, I hope he listens to this podcast. Cause yes, his Cut. Barry. I mi- I know no I name. Voice. We miss that Barry White smoothness. Yeah. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. Kiss me. I do miss everybody, Kiss and I want us to hang out more. We should do like an annual. Once a year instead of three yeah. times a year like we used to in the Dells. Get back, get the band back together. He was upset with me that night. Yes, he was because he's talking to six beautiful women and they're just feeling him. You could tell he's got a bottle of vodka in his hand. He's pouring shots, having a good time. He's, he's like, Lurtis. <laughs> Lurtis. The Barry White's being played. <laughs> my everything. My first. My last. But guess what? <laughs> Chip <laughs> Ellis. Fucking kick, Chip Ellis comes in there. Kick flips his way into the I'm like, hi, ladies. Who wants a fucking party? And they're like, oh, my God. His accent's so hot. Where are you from? Oh, my God. I'm like, I'm from Australia. We're in a fucking skateboard demo down there at the fucking piece of shit mall. <laughs> and they're like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, yeah, they fucking it. got a half pipe set up, and we're going to fucking tear it up tomorrow. And they're like, oh, my God, I want to suck his cock. <laughs> <laughs> my buddy looks at me, and he's like, I fucking hate you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's fucking he's coming back to my tent, <laughs> and I'm going to fucking beat him over the head with a stick. And everyone's getting fucking anal raped. Because that's how we do it down under. Jesus Christ. Not really. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> they were literally like melting in your hand though. Just like, oh my God, oh, he's a professional skateboarder. They're like, oh my he's God. He's so hot. He's got a gray bush. I'm like, if you have an Australian kiss, they're like, oh fuck, what's up? And I'm like, it's like a French kiss, but down under. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, my God. <laughs> I'm doing this shot without you guys since you spilled one of them. Wait. Yeah, let's we do already did on. I did. We did. I have another one poured. All right. All right. Cheers. Well, I'm going to pour another one then. Jeff's the only one. You didn't no, do yours. He didn't he was do holding it. 
I'm looking at no, it. No, I most fucking of spilt my, it, bro. Most of it's on my shoe. I'm sorry. That's alcohol abuse. After this podcast, that's three kicks to the oh, ass. Oh, dear God. Don't even. Let's talk about how fucking broke I was growing up as a child. Yes, sir. Let's I went it. to grade school every fucking day. You know what I fucking ate? Ramen Do you know what I fucking ate? Grade school lunch. Ramen no- I couldn't even afford ramen noodles. I was that broke. Ramen noodle, make when you made them into chips in the bag with the seasoning. We're talking about prison tacos where you yeah. crunch up, crunch them up inside <laughs> yes, a bowl. Yes, I ate those every day. Prison tacos. So what you do is take tortilla shells, crunch them up into the bottom of a bowl. You spread fucking cheese on them. You crunch up more tortilla shells, and then you eat them in the microwave. It's nachos of a prison taco. That's just nachos and cheese. I mean, you just put a twist on it. Wow, Kayla's upstairs. up there moving Dang furniture. God. <laughs> I, th- I thought I was at Frankie's house for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the, the you can never come over without moving furniture. <laughs> but I fucking, I was so fucking broke growing up. Like everyone, like, oh, I want a fucking basketball hoop on the back of the door. So our kids have a glass backboard and right, a basketball a hoop and then a fucking Nerf ball that they shoot on the back of the fucking door. You know what I has a kid? You know what I have as a kid? <laughs> what did you have as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get it to where you can see this guy's face. You know what I have as a kid? <laughs> what did you have, son? I took a KFC bucket of chicken. <laughs> and then after our family ate it, I cut a hole in the bottom of it. And I <laughs> duct taped it to the back of a door. The, that it was, was my was on it. They were just sinking. It was going yo, right in. Yo. But Chicken honestly, jumpers, baby, is that <laughs> that is the perfect basketball net? Is a you like that because you're a horrible KFC shot? Chicken, you're a horrible Easy. shot. That's a bigger rim for Easy. you. That's How why. fucking dare you? He eats what your you lunch play? every what day. What are you even talking about? You play a defense like shot. fucking Peter McNeely. That's all I got is defense. You don't play defense either. But I'm no, good at sports if I don't have to run or jump court. or. Everyone's like, why grab my dick? It's like, yeah, that that's the fucking guy right there. The guy with the shades on. <laughs> <laughs> Only guy ever to play basketball with a pair of sunglasses. It's on. sunny outside, all right? It's Jesus. Not in the gym. I don't put Not on sunglasses in the gym. In the gym. Rain, Church man. Ball. <laughs> Make it rain. I would love to still play. We'll I just, I'm, I'm fearful to blow out an ACL or something. You know what I'm fearful of? Heart attack. Those fucking yeah. dildos. <laughs> All that fucking grease. Those grease. fucking dildos I got messaged <laughs> yeah, me. It's haunting your dreams. <sighs> they're still yeah honestly they're still haunting my dreams i'm like honey i don't care pick one they're not going inside me <laughs> if you want the one with the chrome handle and the fucking bling bling shrimp, bitch then fine she wants to be stunting on them i guarantee she sent that picture to all her friends and she even asked she had like a quota which one what do they do that uh that app marco polo they do what do you guys think the chrome one? The chrome one? They're like, oh my god. I'm thinking rainbow. Uh, the chrome one's so good. So good. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Sean, I don't want Sean it. Sean's just feeling good. I could just look at his face and just know that he is in a happy place because he hasn't stopped smiling in like 30 fucking Sean minutes. Sean is so <laughs> I, hey, I, I'm on that level. On I will because you guys finished a, over a half a bottle of Rumpelman's. And that's hundred proof. That's fucking you guys. So are everyone, awesome. I've been in, I've been in text messages nonstop. Fucking liar. Talking about fucking liar. What is he like? <laughs> what's Sean's secret? And I was like, fucking liar. I was like, dude, it's socks. Like, oh my let's, god. Let's talk well, about he got the socks. DM'd. It was a DM too. There was a DM. I remember. Yeah, he let's it talk me. about uh-huh. the socks for a minute. Like, I, bro, I, I gotta I, take I, my socks off. The tell fucking me pop. your I'm secret. Sorry. Hey, listen, there, there's no secret. It's just I need to take my socks off to pop. It Why? is what it is. I'd be leaving my socks hey, on for like I, an hour, you know, then take them off. Everyone it's, has that It's one. a mental thing. It's a mental block. Everybody's got a mental block. I when, don't. Listen. <laughs> listen <laughs> yeah. I'm coming listen, instantly. When, when a girl says, oh, I've, I've never had an orgasm because you have a mental block. Because it's a you, myth. <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. I, you know that what? I, true. That brings up a good fucking point. What I want to talk about. Okay, so when guys get super fucked up, right? They get whiskey dick, correct? 
Yes, takes sir. you fucking forever to come. That's why you stay drunk. Do girls get that? <laughs> do girls always get, ready? Do, do girls, girls get, get whiskey, whiskey dick? So they get like. Uh, so uh, she's like on top of you riding, veg. and she's like, "God, this is gonna take forever." So what is it like, vodka veg? It that, might be. That'd probably be a good white t- white claw clam. <laughs> white claw <laughs> clam. That would be perfect. Yeah. But I. Your uh, last I, night I got white clawed. It sucked. I always Chardonnay wanted snatch. that. <laughs> Cause like when guys get super fucked up, like, dude, I'm not coming. Try me. <laughs> it's not gonna come. Now, now you're trying to prove a point. I've you're been like so fucked up before. It's an, it's it's just not gonna. Happen. You just fold it in half and use that and hope. I just want to please back. you and then go to sleep because this shit is not gonna happen. Over it. We're going to see what happens. There's been those times, for sure. I think everyone's been there. Hey, it's all right, man. Every, every now and then you get the fucking... But if I had a, a Twitch... You're spaghetti noodle, ate al dente. If I had but, a Twitch with my socks, I'd be keeping those on for a while and then just popping them off. It's all mental, I know, bro. but do girls, though. Like, for real. Have you ever thought about that? Like, you get whiskey dick. I'm but sure But the girls do. get, like, fucking... Girls, if there are some girls listening to the podcast and you want to chime in, hit up the email, There's Sean. none. The Gentleman's Den pod at gmail.com. You hit us we want to know. We want to know. Yeah. I, I like some hey, other perspectives. Does we'll it, okay. So I, I can come in like 30 seconds if I put my I just close Only if there's my a eyes. Once again, like I, said, the eyes. I close That's my eyes and think of fucking Professor X and I can come in like 30 seconds. <laughs> Professor X. <laughs> Just rubbing the bald head. Cart- <laughs> like no, they, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like cartoon Professor X, not like the one from the movies. Still a bald cartoon. Yeah, yeah, yeah but I like the yellow. The wi- I'm, I'm into yellow wheelchairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not into those fucking new age black and. Uh, no, I want bronze. my wheel. I want my wheelchairs to hover. <laughs> when are those coming out? Hoverboards? Never. No. one... Uh, d- that's what I'm saying, dude. Like the Jetson these, cars, these fucking aliens. <sighs> They're out there That's for sure. We're, we're all aliens for sure. Could I stop holding this oh, yeah. glass? Let's have another show. Show if you got a glass, raise it. No, it's no, nah, we're good, dude. All right. Well, <laughs> anyone else wants to help me so I'm not drinking alone and being an alcoholic? Then, uh, oh yeah, there you go, Lush. I thought you just filled them. No, I was Sad. just checking it. No, we no, we empty. Here. We did it like right when we started. My, my foot's still drinking the one Jeff spilled all over it, so I'm I'm just leaving I'm my good. bottle open so I can keep pouring. It's just. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, email us if you know what movie that's from. How about them apples? Yeah, I'd, I'd like to see if anyone can get some of these movie references. And, uh, you know, we do a lot of them, and then you know, sometimes you might be hearing a movie reference. The greatest movie reference of all time is from Dumb and Dumber. Which one? When he's like, yo, I was talking to my lady friend and we kind of fucking broke up. She was, she was saying, I don't listen to her enough. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> that is the greatest line ever because you, that legit you. explains my whole fucking relationship. Yeah, she's I feel like, like talking to you on the phone is like that. That Arnold. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh, yeah, 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 uh-huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're just agreeing, not she's listening. Like, Friday night comes around, and she was like, "Yeah, we're, we're going over to fucking blah blah blah's house." And I was like, "What?" She's like, "Yeah, I told you fucking this on Wednesday." And I was like, "Probably didn't, but you just don't remember shit either." Yeah, we weren't listening. No, That's why she I definitely know told me. If I if I'm like, all right, what are you doing this weekend? I don't know. I don't I know. Text Kayla to be like, "Hey, what the fuck is Jeff doing this weekend? Can I hang out? Can we get together?" I legit no. I don't like making plans. John, are you breathing? Yeah, I'm just. I'm. <laughs> I don't like making <laughs> plans. I'm I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm trying not to bury myself in this conversation because when she hears this, someone's Who? getting their ass whooped. Kayla. Kayla will whoop some ass. She will. <laughs> I've seen her fuck you How up many times. How dare you, dude? Hey, we don't talk about domestic violence issues on our t- on our show here. That is true. But she has a wicked hook. Oh, my God. <sighs> Best fucking... You know, it's fucked up. so I've hard and came over time. to me and said, I'm so sorry I hit him that hard. I'm like, don't tell me. Tell him. He, <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day for some fucked up reason. I was thinking about the Rocky movies, and I was like, 
Wow. Kayla, my girlfriend, is like, she's basically Rocky. She's the crazy Italian. And I'm Adrian. I'm Adrian. I'm the weak retard that likes the zoo. <laughs> Sing along if you know it. <laughs> we get sidetracked very easily. Oh, Jesus. Look at the keys, look at the keys, look at the keys, and we're back. <laughs> oh, God, I feel like I'm holding this microphone and become part of it. Is that bad? My hands are feel like it's just... In all honesty, I really want to take a picture of you right now and put it on the Instagram just because it Spotlight. looks... Spotlight. Because it looks like you are getting ready just to deep throat that microphone what? all the way... There's there's like a one inch gap. <laughs> the grapes. You just you just like how. And it's then like you're that. gonna gargle the gravy. If you know that movie reference, email us at the gentleman's den pod. Press play at gmail dot com. <laughs> movie reference. God, that was such a great movie. No one really did love it. I heard bad reviews from everyone, but it was. I thought from it was what? so fucking good. Tropic Thunder. Now you just fucking told them, you it's son of right. a. Bitch, right. don't don't email us now. None of these fucks are gonna email us anyway because they're all that too, is true. They got real lives, right? They just need a little hour getaway sometimes in the ride home or when they're sitting there fucking jerking off. Wait, no, that would be weird. Yeah, if you're listening to us <laughs> while watching Pornhub, you got an issue. Have one jerk off to us. No. Jeff does have such a soothing voice. No, I mean, ladies, I mean, if you have a I very can. large stereo system and you set your speaker on the ground and turn the bass all the way Yeah, up. do the stir. <laughs> Just make I'm sure like the wheels are falling off this See, that's bus. That's my Chip Ellis. We got a fucking, you ready for a fucking oh, boomerang? Jesus. <laughs> I'm too fucked up to hear this. Stop it. Yeah, I... I'm actually wearing headphones while we record so, yeah. this, so I'm listening to this. And yeah, guess what? His I expressions apologize. just don't I look. I don't know what they was going on. <laughs> but this is this is just like hanging out with welcome us. Welcome to the health. <laughs> welcome to the halfway point of our. Yeah, podcast. we're just hanging out. <laughs> we uh, right here. We would normally do an ad, but since we have no sponsors, uh, our. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go back to the show. I feel like there's going to be some soon here. I feel like there's some people Listen, that have some great businesses. No. Unless you're slanging dildos. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's going to buy all of them and put them on our coffee table. Harry's Dildo Emporium. <laughs> I got to tell you, though, they were they were amazing pieces. Listen, man. you know I wouldn't even want to stick let's that Let's get to the long and vain vagina. Like, for real, I was like, that, that thing is beautiful. She's like, oh, it's fucking $33. And I'm like. Just think of that dude that's making the glass ones. He's just blowing <laughs> penis all day. Yo. <laughs> yeah, but he's making pipes on the side. Yeah. Yeah. That's his real bread I'll tell work. you right now. There's a dick bong out there that I'm sure you would take a pull off of. Ooh. That, yeah. Ooh. If someone's like, so, I have the dopest dope you've ever smoked, but you have to smoke it out of this penis bong. Put my lips on that tip. You, you, you put your lips on that tip. <laughs> you smoke it for sure. Listen, and I'd hold it by the balls like like yeah, a, like I a gentleman, say, like a real gentleman. I'd cup the balls. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Listen, I'm too fucked up to be. If it's if it's the dopest dope I ever smoked, I'm cupping uh, the balls. I'm just saying. Six months. <laughs> all right, so we were playing a game of the old FMK, fuck Mary kill. <laughs> and and some of these some of these that we got were uh fucking hilarious. I was yeah. dying. Like uh the seventy two and ten bulls <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Rodman Pippin. Oh fucking it, it's Mary Jordan fuck Pippin and kill Rodman. Yeah, I'm gonna agree How with dare you. you. Rodman's Rodman was the crazy one. He's gonna one, be the bro. fun one. Right, that's the good fun. <laughs> yeah. But that motherfucker's also going to steal all your fucking silverware. Jordan's going to fucking leave you for like a 23-year-old <laughs> dime piece. Yeah, but that settlement's going to be golden. Where are you going to live in his house no one wants to buy? Yep. His house in Chicago is still up for it's sale. It's still for sale, yeah. They do tours. That's crazy. And they slang fucking Jordans. They're like, we'll take a tour of the show. Yeah, you got too many Jordans that you haven't worn. I think you bought a pair seven years ago. You've worn them twice. I That's a sell, really good investment. I might sell some. 
Listen, yeah, I mean, this I, I kid, heard. this kid, we went out to lunch today, and all this kid fucking was showing me on his phone was Jordan's. Yeah. Let me show you the six. He, he really on. was trying to. He's like, dude, hook it up. What size are you? Ten and a half? I'm, dude, come that's on. That's what it's I meant wear. to be. Let me just give you hundreds of dollars. I don't know Those why you're not taking it. Those are my favorite shoes of all time was the fucking Jordan 11s. I love the 13s I the bought Brents. you off you. I still yeah. want to get the threes. Where are the they? The elephant at? print. Mine sitting in the closet. I've worn them to play mm-hmm. basketball maybe four times. Yeah. No. Never play basketball in your life. That's what it looks like. Wow. Ooh. I can't wait for videos so you can see I'm not that fat. Mr. Four Stripe Adidas. It's just judged hey, material. How about this? You know You're not fat, you're just wide. That's fine. There's more to me to Here. love. How about this? We're going back I mean, to the not. Six we'll two two twenty five of pure chocolate, you know. Sean's white chocolate, two eighty six four. Let's get it McGilla. right. Let's say it. McGilla. Ooh, it's a lot of white McGilla. chocolate. McGilla the vanilla gorilla, <laughs> baby. McGilla the vanilla gorilla. Ladies, bring your bananas and whipped cream. <laughs> nope, just bring the whipped cream because I'm carrying the banana. What was that one thing I heard the other day? I think it might have been Jeff that said it. He's like, "You want a frozen banana?" I'm like, no, no. Was that no, the? It's a Mitch Hedberg joke, and it's. <laughs> A man asked me if I wanted a frozen banana. I said, no, but I'll buy one because I might want a regular banana later. <laughs> I was fucking dying. Dude, that, dude, that dude's got the best one-liners. That's all his stand-up was, was fucking one-liners. See, and they he wore his shades. Great. He wore his shades at, at, during his Yeah, fucking... he also did a lot of heroin. I'm not doing that. So, I mean, if you want to start being a junkie, I mean, I, I don't know talking about that fucking, happens, like how dreaming, people like have that conversation. Hey, what are you doing this weekend? Do you want to just like, you know, get together Saturday, grab dinner, do some fucking heroin? What? I don't get how that comes apart. Don't don't do heroin. Don't, it doesn't. don't be done. It, do, it doesn't, doesn't come apart. That com- everyone, no, that, that who, conversation everyone who is, does heroin navigates to the heroin side of the room. I, I feel like, like it's all they prescription have some kind get of you fucking there. Fucking they have some kind of beacon. Fuck all that it's, shit. Stay high. Smoke trees. It's because it's all natural. It's because the they start becoming pill poppers. That's how Sean. Right. Been that's that's fucking, what I'm saying. It's bullshit. That's how Sean Look has been addicted. to 73 fucking funerals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's of true. Haran. It's fucking stupid. Uh, so don't at be least dumb. ten of them. At least ten of them. Well, it's crazy. Well, let's explain. Cause Sean was a fucking bartender at a popular bar in a small. Fucking town. Where everyone knows my name. So when he says he's been to 73 fucking funerals, it's legit. Like he knows every fucking buddy in town. Put That's why way. you got to be together. Spend time if, with each other. If there is a Hall of Fame for the town we live in, I am a first ballot Hall of Famer. Definitely. Got my vote. God damn right. God damn right. Going in there with some chuckas, fucker. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should look like a dish rag. No, nah, but you know, you know, fucking everybody in the fucking town we grew up in because you you bartended at the. That's pretty much the it's, spot. That's a good spot. Yeah, so I've gotten drunk there since eat. I was very young. So good like times. you know everybody. I mean, the Allegedly. guy who used to fucking ride the wheelies. I like all the, the waitresses fucking... there because they just they keep getting just changed out, and I just. And Keep have, coming back and for you the new pickings. And you haven't fucked one yeah. since. Well, you fucked one, but that doesn't count. I like these high Look, schoolers. We right? won't talk about that one. That's probably the best. The, we won't talk we about talk that about one. we talk about Matthew McConaughey? Hey. Hey, man. That's a beautiful I man. I keep getting older and these chicks stay the same age. That's a, that's a good life right there. Movie God, right. that's such that's a good movie. What you're talking about. Hey, man, are you cool? You cool, man? How do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> you got a joint? Be a whole lot cooler if you did. <laughs> yeah. I definitely do. Sucker for red Matthew hair. Matthew McConaughey is easy. Just talking about like, Southern Drow. And then you kind of. He always uh, has that swag, though. I know, but he goes. Uh, I loved him in that movie, Surfer Dude. It's like the worst, dumbest movie, but it's just so funny. Him and his friends just surfing and smoking weed. It's, I'm sorry. The, the Jim yeah, Carrey impression where he's driving the car, rolling the booger. I have never <laughs> laughed harder. I what am I going to do with this? What am I going to do with this? One, one, of, one of my favorites, still is the uh, Fear and Loathing. Such a great fucking movie. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. What the fuck does that have to do with Matthew McConaughey, though? I'm just thinking of, like, 
those movies, like when you were saying cruising and he's just rolling. I was just thinking of hey, here's Johnny that, Depp cruising. Here's into that the hard left turn we always talk about in our podcasts. Yeah. Hard left turn. Hard, hard. We, just when we could talk about movies, we just get rolling. We just Dale Earnhardt Did you just into the wall. Drop, fall over. What the hell just happened? He had to stand up, man. So, oh, did he man. fall out of the chair? I'm falling out of this chair. <laughs> Listen, that was a good stand up. I thought we were talking about Matthew McConaughey, and my. So what are we talking about movies? We're we talking about Dallas Buyers. What about Lincoln? But he had AIDS. I don't want to talk about that. Or are we talking? No, about... I'm going to talk about the greatest thing Matthew McConaughey ever did. A Time was... to Kill. No, True Detective. Ooh, A Time to Kill, son. How dare you? True Detective is Matthew McConaughey's greatest work. I'm sorry. If you have HBO, fucking watch the first season of True Detective. These two are it looking deep into gold. each other's eyes. It's fucking gold. Hey, A Time to Kill is a great movie, though. Samuel L. Jackson, greatest light of all you, time. You got to admit, though, yes, there's, there's a difference. Yes, they deserve to die, and I hope <laughs> they burn in hell. No, it's not his greatest line. Uh, I, was it? Is, I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane? No. That's a pretty good one. A shark. A fucking shark ate me. <laughs> I mean, we can go all day with Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> oh, man. Look at the big brain on bread. <laughs> <laughs> Same What's fucked again. up? Let's... Movie fact, his name wasn't Brad. It was Brett. But they didn't edit it. They just left it in there. Yeah, well, they also left a Your start. name's Brett, right? He's like, yeah. And then later in the movie, he's like, look at the big brain on Brad. Yeah. His name is actually Brett. Yeah, that's disrespectful. Kind of like You just love watching mistakes in movies. Kind of like leaving a Starbucks cup on a table in a movie. Their mm-hmm. fucking Starbucks wasn't even created. Mm-hmm. There's totally Starbucks in those worlds. In, in Game of Thrones? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that show. <laughs> How fucking dare you? Right? I thought that show was great. Mm-hmm. But uh, I there. never watched it, so I can't. No, it's fucking awesome. I fucking loved it. The last season was fucking trash. It wasn't trash. You want to help decent, a brother out? But they fucking rushed it. I I feel like they rushed it. HBO wanted to do 10 seasons of fucking Game of Thrones. And the writers who had the exclusive Dude, rights work, to the story That's what about. That's the best <laughs> said we could do it in six. Well, they ended up doing it in seven. But the six and seven season were condensed down to 12 episodes. So what the fuck? Yeah, they did take like a shortcut on the way out. They Not did. A fan. They did. Not a fan. But let me just let me just set the scene from so what my best pissed. friend just did for me. I only have one free hand, and he has one free hand. So he just he, used the oh he lit my the light God, he me. Let's you just off. say that's a true friend. Sean. My penis. <laughs> Hold on. Let me spit on my hand again. My dick. <laughs> oh, just trying to stay on that level. Just keep. I'm, I got my buzz back. Woo! Just trying to keep call you Mickey thing. Avalon. <laughs> hey, my dick parts the sea. Your dick farts and queefs. Damn. My dick. That was deep. Plus the late night fee. Your dick got the HIV. Oh, <laughs> burn. Fucking burn. Mickey Avalon had a song called Jane Fonda. And Kayla fucking loves a show called Frankie and Grace on Netflix. And I was like, yes. that's Jane Fonda. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, it's Jane Fonda. The song, the song. Have you ever song. heard Mickey Avalon? She's like, what? So I played it. And she's like, that's the same fucking girl? I'm like, yes. The show you like, Frankie and Grace on Netflix, that's fucking Jane Fonda. See, I, I can't, I'm not really good with famous people and their names and this and that. I like, you gotta, you gotta tell me what they I'm not really good with the book the, learning. He's not really, he's not <laughs> well, really good with the, the name. letters. I mean, you're not good with the actors in the movie. You're not really good with the m- movies either. Yeah, I mean, Frankie, what, what was about? that movie? What was that one movie you told me to watch? Oh, it's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, <laughs> I seen this movie. No, 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 it had Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah, I turned the TV on, and I like to, you know, sometimes a movie's just on, and I watch it, and I watch this really good movie. I'm like, damn, Denzel Washington's good. So I started watching it, and it was great. I told John, my buddy, uh, what the, what you gotta watch this, name? Jeff. You gotta watch this. From Third Rock from the Sun, John. Uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas. No. See, I don't know. Bad what? guy. John Lithgow. Yes, John Lithgow. Yes, he's, he's the bad guy. Or he's the, like, it's got Denzel Washington and John Lithgow. I'm like, 
The bad guy from Cliffhanger? I'm fucking in. Dude, it's <laughs> such a good movie. I guarantee you've never seen it. It's it's called Rico Chat. It's <laughs> fucking really good. He's like, bro. Sean's almost falling out of this his movie. Chair. It's still so <laughs> stupid that it's funny. It's, it's so it says funny. Rico, and then you know, like C A. He's like, bro, you gotta check out this movie. It's got Denzel Washington in it. He's like, it's I was called, also very young. It's called but, Rico Chat. <clears throat> you know. So we, I go over to Frankie's house, and he's scrolling through. He's like, here it is. <laughs> I was like, dude. That says ricochet. <laughs> He's like, what? I'm like, yeah. Just, <laughs> that's ricochet. Uh, that's not Rico Chat. Rico Chat forever, bro. It's my favorite movie. What was the other movie <laughs> that he said that was like not even in the fucking ballpark? I don't know, but fucking his buddy the other day said... Yeah, Cat Raz. I was like, "What? What's this new game?" He's like, "It's El Cat Raz, bro. We should check and it out." Frankie's face lit up because he <laughs> he finally got the softball right down Bell High. Right he across is the, the one. Plate. He is the Rico Chet. Put the water in the cooler. All kinds of shit. If you don't know what El Cat Raz is, it's Alcatraz. And I got to correct him and say, "What are you talking? You mean Alcatraz? Yeah, that's the fucking game." <laughs> And by the way, the water in the cooler story is, hey, Frankie, oh. put the water in the cooler. Well, let's set this scene, okay? We just got up to the Dells. This is another Dells story. Let's get on. The Last best week, times. You know what I'm saying? The best times. We had our best time in the Dells, for sure. If you haven't been to Wisconsin Dells. Take a weekend. Take a weekend. You'll love it. So we go up to the Dells. We just got up there. There's probably like only like five, six people up there. It's early. We're like, Frankie, put the water in the cooler. <laughs> put the water in the cooler. What would you do? Just take a second. Think about it. Okay. Everyone's thinking. And yeah. You just you open the case and you put the bottles of water in the cooler, right? No. Nope. Not young Francis. Frankie is pouring the water out. Into the cooler. He is opening water bottles and pouring them into the cooler. And we're like, Frankie, what the fuck are you doing? And he, oh. he answers all pissed off. What? <laughs> what? What, motherfuckers? You told me to put the fucking water in the coolers. I thought I was talking to Samuel Jackson. Oh. <laughs> he was that fucking upset and that pissed. I'm putting the fucking water in the motherfucking cooler. So you said you want to put the water in the cooler so it's cold. Yes. I fucking did it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Put the bottles in the cooler. <laughs> Don't open the water bottles <laughs> and put them in the cooler. Oh, God. Uh, my greatest work. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I went to the gas station. I bought a 30-pack of fucking Miller High Life. Oh. Uh, and I put it right there on my gas tank, my crotch rocket. Roll <laughs> it back. That's stuck in talent. It's that is talent. talent. Who like, got pulled you over? Get it back? And Do you I remember the like, pyramid we built? I fucking pinch it with the inside of my elbows. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I put a true pack, alcoholic. I Wasn't put a thirty pack of beer on top of my crotch rocket gas tank. I pinched it. Didn't you get pulled over with the blow no? Up I drove dial? past a fucking state trooper. No, no, no. With the blow up dial. No, I didn't. Who I got pulled around. over with the blow up dial? I had the blow up dial. Yeah. I didn't get pulled over with the blow up dial. I thought you got the yelled cop at. gave me a fucking thumbs oh, up. Thumbs <laughs> <laughs> didn't she? She stayed oh, at the campsite. Cops like, yeah, I fucked her too. Damn. Hey, it was almost as good as the Kalahari. Oh, I mean, that's and the board. So we're up in the Dells with a bunch of fucking crotch rockets. Obviously, I fucking put a thirty pack of Miller Light or what was yeah, it? It might have been High Life Light. Beer. High Life High Life Light, Light was the cheapest it's a champagne pack. Champagne of beer. Yeah. Nine bucks we had a, a beer thirty pack up there, and it was like. Thirteen ninety nine, the fucking chug of thirty pack. So I was like, "Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. That's a fucking deal of the century." Right? 
So I fucking pinched it between my elbows and drove it back to the campsite. Like a hero. Like a fucking hero would. And then, also, there was a blow-up doll up there. There may be Blown a picture up full of air. floating around. The old oh, yeah. One of those what are the time be. hop thing. Ten years ago today. Yeah. Of me and Jeff uh, giving it the old pig roast. <laughs> Do you remember the pyramid we I built? Like 15 her, people? I strapped her to my back and rode her on the back of my crotch rocket all weekend. All through town, up and down the strip, all those stores, all those people. Like a true fucking she was a hero. There, sure. <laughs> the pyramid was one of my favorites that we built. Everyone was like, yeah, get me uh, two cases of High Life Light. 20 bucks, 20 bucks. 15 people bought them. We had like 30 packs of High Life Light that we stacked into a pyramid. And it was gone in like a day and a half. One of the greatest Dell stories ever is when we went up there as kids. And uh, there's like a haunted house on the main strip. <laughs> and uh, we yeah, went to Frankie's family. Frankie's mom, Frankie's dad, and, you know, him, me, blah, blah, blah. And uh, there's these two girls outside, and they're like, we don't want to go in there. This is outside. the. It was like the Dungeon of Horrors. And Frankie's mom's like, horrors, they'll go with you. They'll go body. with you. That's fine. <laughs> and I was like, I don't fucking want to go in there. I don't like haunted houses. <laughs> but Frankie's mom put so much pressure on me with these fucking girls. I was like, fuck it. We'll go. This place. The old full court press. This fucking place was pitch. It's a pitch black it's maze pitch that you have to make your way through. Maze. And guess who's leading? Me. I'm leading. <laughs> Bumping into every goddamn fucking wall. It's pitch black. Boom. Wall. Let's go right. Boom. Wall. We're going left. I got these fucking two girls pushing on my ass. They wanted to get through it so fast. Oh, they just, all they wanted to do was get through it. <laughs> and all I wanted to do was get through it, but it was pitch black. People are jumping out, slamming pushed. shit on the walls. I know, and I was like, wow. I'll look my butthole. Come on. <laughs> Tight butthole. Tight butthole. I just had to like channel my inner Arnold. And I was like, oh, are you going to get through this? Come on. <laughs> Come on. We're just going to do it. We're going to pump into the wall. <laughs> you think he put his hands out to feel, but yeah. <laughs> when you're getting feeling. pushed, when you're getting pushed by three people, you're going pretty quick through a maze. That's no, yeah, only like going, three. I, I was going fast as fuck, faster than I wanted to. <laughs> like if it was me by myself, it probably would have taken me two and a half hours to get through this maze. <laughs> Just feel it around. <laughs> but no, there was you and two girls behind you, and everyone was just pushing on my ass. So I fucking had to make it through quick. <laughs> the leader. I like it. Fucking leader, bro. Let's talk about the 4D movie we went and seen. That the was Delta the worst. Show. Dude, if I ever get fucking dog snot water and a broomstick to my spine again. Dude. <laughs> so set the scene. We're like, what's, what do we They're do? They're like, oh, go. It's a 4D movie. So that means you so feel like it. You feel the movie. Plus you feel shit. It's okay. 3D and a bum spits. So we said, let's get broomstick fucked up, up and go see this. That was a great idea. Let's go to the moon. Higher than Jesus on the space shuttle. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And let's go see a 4D movie. I've never seen one before. I think it's going to be just awesome. I swear to God, I still Finn got scars on my back from that thing jamming me <laughs> in my spine. So, yeah, you're, you're watching that the movie. That fucking broomstick in the back was the fucking Yeah, worst. you're riding a horse and I the chair's to... vibrating. And all of a sudden, like, you, know, you hit yeah, a tree and you bad. get poked in the back by a broomstick. And as you're leaning forward, all of a sudden you jump through the water and spray the water in your face. What the well, fuck? Well, that's the thing because everyone was like, fuck this broomstick. <laughs> so everyone, like, leaned <laughs> forward and... And then you just got sprayed in the fucking <laughs> face with water. Don't it, see a 4D don't movie. Ever not see worth a 4D it. Movie. And listen, it ain't it. like regular water. It's like dirty cool fucking fuck. hose water. Yeah. That's my mouth's been in open. The sun. It's like hobo jizz. <laughs> <laughs> jizz. Hey. And that is the best way for us to close this podcast this week. On the note, hobo oh. jizz. God, uh, I don't want to end so, it. I yeah. miss you guys. Yeah, I know. Uh, we'll be back next week, back in the gentleman's den. For young Francis, for J Dub, I am of course Sean. Thank Big you. Bear. Thank you all very much for listening. 
We will be back next Saturday for your <laughs> listening enjoyment. Pleasure. Or just to listen to how retarded we are. It's chiz. It's going it, to get crazy. And, and, it's, and it's not mentally challenged. It's, we, we're just retarded. Facts. Laters.